So today what we're going to be doing is a Joan Miro inspired artwork. And we're going to draw shapes and color them in and divide them like Joan Miro did. So we're also going to be using our inspiration of our famous Hispanic or Latino Americans to create images for our artwork. So one of the Hispanic Latino Americans was an astronaut. So I want to create a planet. I'm going to do a circle for my planet. And I'm also going to use a pencil to draw a ring around my planet. And remember, you can do this on paper or on the computer. I'm going to love that ring. I'm going to try again. I'm going to do the paintbrush. Start from the side, go like that. I'm stop there so I don't mess up again. And come back around. See how my ring touches the other lines so there's no spaces? This will be important when I color in. Another person was a golf pro. So I'm just going to do a simple circle for that one. represent the ball. Somebody else worked on rights for farmers. So I know this is really simple. I think I'm gonna do some rectangles to show like farm fields. So you can also decide what shapes you want to do, what areas of the paper you put them on. So yours does not have to look like mine. And really, if you're just inspired by one person, that's okay. As long as your shapes are inspired by some of our famous Hispanic Heritage Month examples. Um, so someone was in medicine, so that involves science. So I'm going to put a beaker because most likely if they're invented medicine, they had to use science to do so. Funny shape beaker. I know another way I could have done that. I'm gonna go back. I could use the polygon tool and make straighter sides. There we go. Let's see what else in the U.S. Congress. Maybe I just put a rectangle for the flag. So, like. John Miro's work, you don't necessarily have to do perfect images. They could just be shapes. And shapes just have to be closed. One thing that he did as well was kind of cut the shapes into pieces. Now I've overlapped some of mine so that some of these pieces make new shapes. So I did this rectangle over the square to create a new shape. I'm also going to take a line tool and cut through a few more shapes to divide them. You could also do this like with a pencil, maybe cut shapes like this. All right, here's the fun part. We're going to start to do color. So if you're using JS Paint, you can use the paint bucket. If you're coloring, you can just color. But this is great because now we can just Fill in areas of color. You can use any colors you would like. Hmm, maybe I won't do that one. But have fun using a variety of colors. And some areas can be left white if you'd like. Oops, so see how that all colored in? I think it's because that little space right there was not connected to my edge. Which is okay, but I wanted to make sure it was connected. Hopefully that works. Oops, there we go. I think I'm going to do a few more, and then I want to leave a lot of it white.
All right, there we go. So remember, for your assignment, once you're done, you can save. And then your assignment will be completed. Make sure you save before you quit out of this, or you can also take a screenshot.